Hi students, so today we're going to talk about how to create a new Google site that you're going to use in reflection while reading the butterfly books. So the first thing I need you to do is create a new tab. And while I'm walking you through this, please do pause this video as often as you need, okay? So once you have a new tab, find your waffle in the upper right hand corner, your three by three. Click on that and then please find sites. Click on sites. It's going to take a second to load. On the column on the left side, please click on new Google sites. Do not click on create. Click on new Google sites. I'm going to have a ton of sites because many people have shared theirs with me. You may only see one or two. Now come down to the bottom right corner where you see that plus white plus sign in the middle of the orange dot. Click on create new site. Once you have a new site, the first thing we need to do is label it. So we're going to come up here to Untitled Site. You need to have your name and Butterfly Site. And here as well, Name, Butterfly Site. Here, same thing, Lindsay's Butterfly Site. You can call it Hill on Butterfly or Time of the Butterfly Site. That's fine. Um, just make sure your first name is on it so that as we're assessing, we know where we are, whose grade we're looking at, OK? Now, the one creative piece we have is changing the header image on the background. Whatever you choose it to be, it will remain that throughout the website, okay? So, to click on Change Image, and then click Select Image. Come over to Search, and then here you can search a term. You can see on my example one, I searched for the Mirabal sisters. This is the sisters that are represented in the Time of the Butterflies novel by Julia Alvarez in the Dominican Republic. If I wanted, maybe I'm reading Butterfly Hill and I want to look up the name of the dictator in Chile named Pinochet. I'm gonna search, there he is. It's a wide photo, so I know it's gonna fit better. This portrait photo will not fit well because it's gonna take like the middle section here versus a wide, um, landscape will work best. So I hit select and there he is, Pinochet. So the next thing we need to do, if you look at my example site, we need to create extra pages, a global studies and a reading journals, okay? So when we come back to your site, we're gonna click on pages in the upper right hand. Come down to the bottom and hit that plus sign. We want the page, not a link. So we click new page and I'm going to put reading, reading journal, done. And then hit plus again. We need another page and it needs to be for global studies, done. Okay, so global studies with Amy, you can add things here. Your home page, we will add more here eventually. But for now, let's go to reading journal and notice how Pinochet's face stays on the image for all three, okay? So come back to insert and click text box. It's going to immediately load below whatever the top image is, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is type today's date. I like changing the title heading so that it stands out. So for heading, I'm gonna to type today's date, which is Tuesday, November 27th, 2018. Now watch this, as soon as I hit enter, blue goes to black. It knows that you are in normal text mode. You're no longer in title. I think that's pretty slick. So, for this, you'll get further instructions on step three as to what you're typing today, okay? But I wanna show you one thing. Tomorrow, if we were to come back here and do another journal, you would click on text, let's see, click here, and then click on text box. So it's always gonna to go to the bottom. And if you come to the left-hand side, you can move it up so it's always at the top. Then I can click to text again. I want a heading and I would type 
Wednesday, November 28th, 2018. Enter blue to black automatically. Okay, and then here you can write a response based on the prompt. Okay, so then come up to publish. Before you can do today's work on the site, we have to make sure I'll be able to view it. So click on publish. And yours would not say name, it would actually have your name. So I put Lindsay. Oh no. Lindsay Butterfly Site. And who can view my site? Anyone at Billings Middle School. Um, don't need to change that. That's anybody that would be signed into their Billings Middle School account and then also have your link. And you're only going to send your link to me. So don't, please don't mess with manage. Just hit publish. Your site has been successfully published. So now you are ready to go on to the next step. Thank you.